Well, I'm Ranger Kuki, and look at all these tarps. All these tarps and tents came from our camping trip uh, four days ago, or last week. Cut. Hey. About four days ago, we went camping and we had all these tarps and tents. We had about five people went. Uh, they had to buy a new tent because the poles for the uh, the old tent we had broke. So we had to buy. He, my friend, had to buy a new tent, and that was it right there. All right, this is my tag. I was tag for how you hunt your fat wood. So this is how I hunt my fat wood. Ready? I don't hunt for fat wood unless, you know, it's right there. Hey, look, there's a piece of fat wood. I pick it up. I'll pick it up. But I make my fat wood. What? How you make fat wood? You can't, uh, you just can't make fat wood. Well, let me show you. Come on, come on, visit my woods. This is my woods. And what I do, I do not like pine trees real close to my house. So what I do, I take up my machete or a big knife and I show you what I do to make fat wood. Fat wood is the easiest thing to make. If you need fat wood during times and periods of need, you could always go in any of your woods, any of your, where you camp at or around your house or I want to show you what I do. I have a couple trees I already, I already did this to. So come along with me. This is more properly. Alright. Getting close. Sorry for all the inconvenience. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, look. There's a pine tree. Let's go find that pine tree. Alright. This is what I do to pine trees. I come back here, I see a pine tree, like a little sapling here, and I'll skin it. I'll skin the hell out of it. And I even put big dents in it. Big dents. Now what's gonna do, this sapling's going to put sap out to protect that root. So this is what happens. So this is what happens right here. Look at that. So I can smell it. Oh, that smells good. So right now, this is so thick with fat and sap. It's unbelievable. And what I do... When it gets a certain age, I'll cut cut the tree or I'll cut around it. Here's here's a sample over here. And what I do, I take lint. This is my lint fireball. And all that sap. And that will burn like a son of a gun. And if I want, like I said, I cut this. This is nothing but fat wood inside this tree now. If you cut here and here, this will be nothing but fat wood. Real fat. Real thick fat wood. See? Look at all that. And right here, if I I could take this part right here. See all the fat wood? See? Fat. Oh yeah, I can smell it. It's a hundred. Oh yeah. See. Just by damaging the tree. And what it's gonna do, the sap is gonna grow into that tr that, that 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 damaged part. And it's gonna make a sap. And later on, just cut it down. See over here, I just cut that piece down. Now, some more little pieces. So that's how I make or get my fat wood. See the little baggie right there. And look, nothing but fat. And if you damage the tree really good, you can get all that, all that sap into it. Let's see if I can. 
See how the sap is growing? It's making fat wood from hell. And that's how I get my fat wood. Here, see, I damaged this tree a long time ago. And you just cut here and here. Let's do that. Cut. Action. All right, so you just take your saw and cut that little sapling. See how thick it got? And I'll cut right here where the damage part is. And right here. Hit this full set. Yeah. See all the fat rings? Yeah. And then I let it dry and I skin it. That's how I get my fat wood in the woods. So I'll go ahead and bring these in. Let them dry, then I'll skin them later on and show you how that works. So that's how I get my fat wood. All right, happy hunting fat wood day. We're gonna be a national day of this thing, fat wood hunting day. Oh, 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 yeah. See you next video. <laughs>